Hello guys and welcome to another Beamer Fixer video and in this video we'll be servicing my BMW 5 Series 525i M Sport. Okay so you're going to need your jack and axle stands to keep up in the air nice and safe. You're going to need a socket set with a minimum of a 17mm socket to take the sump plug out. Also going to need a slightly smaller socket set that's to remove uh, three I think they're 10mm bolts on a cover underneath to um, get to the sump plug. Gonna need something to remove the filter housing as well. There's various contractors you can use. I've gone for this one, this three legged one. Uh, I need some gloves, uh, oil on the filter. So we've gone for Shell Helix 5W40 um, and Bosch filters. So oil filter is P9269 and the air filter is an S3094. Okay, so that's everything you need. Get up in the air, make a start. Okay, so making sure you've located the correct jacking point underneath and the jack is nicely lined up on that point. You're up in the air. Okay, so once your car is up in the air, and nice and safe and secured with axle stands, uh, this is the cover that needs to come off. Uh, these three nuts here, they're not actually 10 mil, they're eight mil. So we're gonna pop an eight mil socket on there, whip that off, and that will expose the sump plug. Okay, so once your cover's off, you can hopefully see the sump plug just there. So it's facing that towards the right hand side of the car. So we'll just get the 70mm socket on there and get ready to pop it into the drum. Um, I'll show you what drum I'm going to use. It's a pretty cool thing from CD. Okay, so what we're going to be getting rid of the oil in today is a CD 10 litre oil um, disposer. A disposer tank so uh, pretty simple to use um, oil goes into this part after obviously removing the valve there and you remove this valve which releases any air pockets so you don't get an airlock um, I have seen the chap not um, take that off and then oil just bubbled about here and made a right mess um, and then when you take this to the recycling center you can just pop the cap off there and just dispose of it properly okay so uh, yeah not a, not a bad little purchase okay so once you've cracked off the sump plug and then you just loosen it with your fingers um, with a bit of rag on standby and also the CD oil container ready. And just do it and then you'll feel it go. Just get ready to get out of the way because it's not going to be sure when it comes out. There it goes. I think that's for the win. Not too shabby. Just put the sump plug up there. Let her drain. Okay, so once the uh, sump plug's out and the oil's draining, you can release the oil cap. So, so we've opened like that. That helps release any air uh, through the system. So it helps it drain. And then you can take off the uh, oil filter housing. So this bit of kit just simply sits over the filter and use your half inch drive and you can just that's it, crack it off all you need to do is you can just do it a little bit just to uh, loosen it off and then you can do the rest by hand okay so once you come to the end of the thread you'll feel it get really loose don't take it out too soon because you'll get oil that will be uh, come to the surface there and will drip down. So you don't want that. Okay guys, so what I found, the reason why we had a bit of oil pooling on the edge of the filter was because the actual filter comes attached from the filter housing. So just be wary of that. If it comes off, it doesn't drain fully and you'll end up with a puddle of oil here. Um, but what we need to do is just lift it and then it will drain back down into the engine. So once it's doing that, let's it, pop it back up here. I'm going to get our new filter. So the same, which they do. So we've got in the packet you'll have a big O ring, okay, which will go around the top of the filter housing. We've got a little mini o-ring there, that's going to go on the bottom 
of the filter housing, which I'll show in a second, and then we've got the copper sun plug washer as well. Okay, so the O-ring at the bottom of the filter housing was actually really brittle um, and actually just pulled off. So you might need a bit of a screwdriver in there or a pick to, to take that out. But So we take our new one and we just simply pop it on, he says. There we go. So now that's on. Now we take the other washer off the top. So we just get a screwdriver. There's a little gap in the thread there. Just lift it off. Take it like that. Okay, we get our new one. Now we can just put a bit of old oil around the outside just to help it go on. sit around the edge like that then we get our new filter now it can go either way so put that in like that and then push and that's the click you want that did not click the old one <laughs> when they must have changed that they must have just popped it in there and it didn't sit properly um, hence why the filter was um, stuck at the bottom and probably what was making a funny noise when the engine was running before so now that's done we just gotta we can prime it with a bit of fresh oil and then we pop it back in the housing okay so I've just had a closer inspection of the old filter and I don't know if you can see it I don't think get the camera to pick up on it the debris that's in that. So I really doubt that was changed when it was last due. It's absolutely minging. I've never seen a filter like it. There's so much crud in the pleats. So yeah, it just goes to show, one, why you need an oil filter, and two, why you must definitely change them regularly. Minging. Okay, so we've primed our new filter. Uh, we've wound in as far as we can hand tight. Now we use our oil filter housing tool. Okay. So on these, you've just got to be careful of the trim around it. Don't rush it, don't cross thread it. Quite easy to cross thread um, or don't line the legs up properly about the inlet manifold, which you don't want to do. Okay, that's it, that's all it needs. Okay, 25 newton meters of torque, which I reckon that was. Let's get a nice seal around there, and that's it. Let's do for a bit. Okay, take. So, all we need to do now is we need to take our old sump plug washer off and get our new one. And we just pop it on like that. Okay. And we pop the sump back in. Okay, so once your sump plug's back in um, and it's torqued up correctly, again, don't over tighten it because you'll damage the thread um, or even shear the head off the, um, the bolt and then you'll be in uh, a world of trouble. So then you put the cover back on and then tighten back up the three 8mm bolts and then uh, you're good to go. Put the car down, pop some oil in. Okay, so now we need to pop the oil back in. Now it's six and a half litres. So this is a five litre bottle so we can go and chuck this straight in. Put a bit of rag here. So 
that's six. And I'm just going to chuck half of the other one in to give us six and a half. try and do is we'll just go just short of six and a half just short okay so what we'll do we'll let that uh, soak in a bit um, keep the car level we'll fire it up we'll let it run for a bit let it get around the system let it uh, saturate the filter a bit more um, and then we'll top it back up again Okay, so while the uh, oil's just settling in, we'll do the air filter. It's fairly simple, it's just two clips. Just there and there. Not that way, like that. Probably the easiest air filter I've ever had to do. There we go, so as you can see, definitely needed doing. Not awful, but at the same time, not brilliant. So. Get our new Bosch S3094. Okay, so slant edge like that. So you can't see it, slant edge like that. And make sure it's sat correctly. And then at the bottom, there's two locating plugs. Just make sure it's in those. Like that. Click back up. Done. There we go, guys. Service complete. So we've let it run up the temperature. We've just checked the sump and everything. Uh, it's all secure. No leaks. No leaks around the filter house. Anything like that. So job's good in, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. A uh, massive thank you to the guys at Eurocar Parts in Abingdon and a massive thank you to Hannah. we will be seeing you guys soon. If you enjoyed the video guys, please leave a like. If you've got any comments or anything, please leave a comment and I'll get back to everyone as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Stay safe guys. Bye bye.